briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2002, the Alaska Court of Appeals heard the case Butts v. State, which centered on whether prior convictions similar to a felony defined under state law can be considered at sentencing. Clinton D. Butts was convicted of second-degree robbery after forcefully grabbing a woman's purse in a parking lot. Bystanders heard the victim scream and chased Butts, who was later arrested for substance abuse and drug dependence. Butts appealed his conviction, arguing that the jurors needed clarification on the definition of force. However, the court affirmed the conviction, stating that even a slight tug was enough to qualify as force. The court also ruled that Butts's previous out-of-state felonies could be considered in determining his presumptive sentence. Butts claimed that his prior felonies should merge for sentencing purposes, but the judge disagreed. The judge imposed the presumptive sentence, taking into account the seriousness of Butts's actions and his criminal history. The sentence also included provisions for substance abuse treatment. The court ultimately upheld Butts' robbery conviction, determining that his use of force was sufficient. His prior convictions were considered and did not merge for sentencing purposes. The judge's lawful sentence, which accounted for Butts' offense severity and prior record, and included substance abuse treatment provisions, was affirmed. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.